Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Android debugging bridge to push APK files to your Android emulator. And you can see right here that I do have my Froyo emulator running already. So let's uh, jump right in and figure out how to get this to work. So, first thing we need to do is fire up a terminal window. So I'll go over to terminal and hit new window. So we got this shell. Doesn't actually do anything right now. So as you can see, if we type in just simply ADB, we get nothing because it can't find ADB. So how do you suggest we fix that? Well, we need to change our directory. So we'll type in CD. We need to have our working directory set so that it is working within the same directory that the uh, Android SDK exists in. So we got to find that. It's in. I put it in my Eclipse over here and Tools. So we'll grab Tools, drop it right in there, hit Enter. You see now we are working within the tools folder. So on a Windows machine, you could simply just type in ADB install and then drop your APK file in here to install it on your device. Well, you can't do that on a Mac. So in order to access ADB, once you're within the ADB directory, you have to type dot forward slash ADB. And now you can see it has found ADB and is showing me all of my possible commands. So let's expand this window a little bit. Now you can see that we have a couple of possible commands. We have all these shell commands. We have install, uninstall. The one I'm going to use right now is ADB devices to see what I have connected. It should show that I have my emulator connected if this is set up correctly. So if I type in dot forward slash ADB devices, you can see that I do in fact have my emulator device attached, which is good. That means that this will work. So how do we install? Well, we type in the dot forward slash ADB install command. And the next thing we do is we just drop in our APK. So you can see I'm installing the TweetDeck beta. You hit go. See, it tells you it's transferred the APK. This takes a little bit to install. Missing shared library. Well, that's OK. Because the important part is that it actually connected to our device. Now, there could be something wrong with this APK. I don't know. It's still a beta, so I'm not promising anything. I know it does not run on my Android 1.5 device. It should run on Froyo. If you have a real device, it may not run here. But in any case, now you should be able to set up and push files over to your emulator or device. This works the same if you have a device, in fact. You plug in your device via USB. You go in the settings. Here, I'll show you where it is in Froyo. If we pop up our menu, we go down to our settings. You scroll down. You see application settings here. Development. And you turn on USB debugging mode in Android 1.5. It's under a different menu. I'm not exactly sure where that is. But you want to have USB debugging on so that your, your ADB will recognize it when you plug it into the computer. Go back to our home. That's all I have. So I hope you all learned a little bit about setting up ADB on the Mac. If you have any questions, you can email me or post a comment on this on YouTube or on my blog or Twitter, I'll get back to you and answer your questions. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.